All right, here I go again. I, oh, my, this thing is unreal. Put a video up on to make a good, simple, inexpensive magnet for magnet fishing. This is a successor to it. This is going to be a video on a little more stronger magnet. Now this is a solid 2 by 2 by 1 inch N52 grade. This magnet is nothing to mess with. This is an older one. It will shut the camera off if I get too close. Uh, all the chrome is basically peeled away. What I want to do is find a way to house this versus the old style that I, I made year a couple years ago. This one, what I want is to be able to pull it along like this. So what I've come up with is this plumber's, you want to call it tape or a wrap. It's, you buy it at the hardware section. It's a fairly thin roll of wire where you can fit a quarter inch bolt through. And what I want to do is I'm hoping I can somehow get that set up and utilize some brass clasp to tie the rope on. Doesn't have to be nothing too extravagant as long as you get your magnet to uh, work from the strong end, which is the flat side, the larger side. It, these kind of magnets will work every which way very easily. And to demonstrate that, I don't know if I should, should do this, but it, you almost can't get the dang thing that's off. And it's even stronger head on. But that's, I want as much of this magnet as exposed. Like I said in the last video, you see a lot of these magnets encased in a piece of metal and they say a thousand pounds of pull. Well, yeah, when you have it straight down, wrapped in, in iron and metal, it is probably an immense amount of pull. But as soon as you tip it up a little bit, there's nothing. So the best magnet you could possibly have is a fully exposed, real strong N52 grade neodymium magnet. That's what this is. Now to start it out with, I want to wrap, oh god, this is just going to be so fun, uh, this around it. I'm going to make sure I line that all the way out. I'm just not going to be able to twist this too well. If I so much as try to tap this, if I had a brass, maybe I'll run out and get a brass to pound it, because if I pound it like this, watch this, that's all I'm going to do. You know I'm screwed. Got it stuck on there. I gotta rethink this. I'm doing this as I'm going, so uh, I had the idea in my head, and that's as far as I got with it. I'll be right back. Okay, that piece there is on. So we're gonna take that off. That one I'll wear tonight, man. Which one? The camo one. Thank you, buddy. to do is bring this back out because oh, I didn't have that one centered. It's quarter inch bolts. I can grind this down when I'm done. Not so worried about that. We're going to try to get this magnet inside here without cutting my hand. Never thought of that. Well, I know how we'll do it. Pull them way up. Oh, that's gonna work you guys. Yeah, that's gonna hold it there. I can pound them down. If I can get all these connected here. Tell you what, if I can get this bolt through here, I might be in business. I'll show you what I mean. So what I'm trying to do is minimize the amount of iron or metal I got on the outside so as much of that magnet surface as I can will be up against the um, whatever I'm trying to retrieve. That'll give me the most ultimate uh, force of magnetism. See if I can pull this nut tight. I got it clapped here. But then I'm going to end up clamping it up here and that thing ain't going to slide. Should not slide anywhere. Especially if I can get this snugged up. See what I'm telling you? 
you literally turn your hand into a grape, exploded grape. Probably have about forty dollars into it. Uh, you buy these two by two by one inch magnets. If you could find one with a hole, would it be better? Yes, but I don't have one with a hole. And then you just run an eyelet through it. But as I stated, I don't have one. Uh, I've seen seldom one inch hole magnets or a two by two by one inch with a hole in it. I have yet to actually find one. They might be out. This is going to be was an old magnet that I couldn't really use for nothing else anyways. It's been so beat up through the years. So this will work great for it. I'm going to use 550 paracord. Just tie that on. And it'll be a business. We're going to go test it out tonight on the Lock and Dam in the Mississippi River. Me and some friends. And this and my other magnet. Alright, I know this looks a little bit weird with these this nut and this bolt here on the end. I'm telling you, it isn't going to really matter. Uh, this is quite strong enough. You're not going to uh, lose it. Uh, this hook isn't going to come apart I, on this clasp. I got that taped up. Uh, I'm going for low cost here. Nothing too extravagant. Like I said, the last one I built, I actually built a big cage around it. And I might try to find that video and link it down below. But one, it worked good, but it, it did, did hinder the magnet a little bit as far as picking up because these things are just unwicked strong. Now what I'm going to do is tie the uh, 550 paracord on. Alright, to tie this on, all I'm basically going to do is double it up here and run a loop through. And then we're going to pull everything completely back through. They probably got about 35, 40 feet of rope. Draw that tight. If you want to just make a regular knot like on a string to help secure it, that thing's not going nowhere. Then I just put a little tape on it. Excess off. Knot's done. You can tie it basically any way you want. But that is not going to come undone. And where it's looped around, this is actually stronger, stronger than a string itself because you got it doubled up. Okay, I got it wrapped up. Like I said, I got the magnet on there. Very easily portable. Um, take it anywhere. Uh, minimal impact on your wallet building it like this. Now I'm going to do is put some electrical tape around here, but I got the first initial knot tied onto that drywall screw, and I'm just going around. So one to keep that out of the way, and two and help secure it in case you had it all the way out and somehow that knot come undone. Oh, and by the way, you can find one. I found one on eBay for $70 with a number four hole, a uh, tapered hole in the middle of it, and 52 grade. Otherwise, you're looking at around $50 for a new N52 grade magnet. You can pick up the N42 grade for $30 or less, but you'll see when we go outside how wicked this thing is. What do we got coming out of here? What? Holy Whoa! Shit. No way! <laughs> Why is a boat anchor here? Look at all the jigs. You got a whole tackle box over here. <laughs> Look at this. Is this not cool or what? You know what? We're going to leave this like this. Look at all the j people's jigs. Clearly that this one must work. Oh, See how look at all are. the purple jigs. Okay, what I'm going to do is order this 1,100 pounds double-sided fishing magnet with the rope for $42.88. So supposedly 1,100 pound pull. Now you can get a wealth of them on eBay, but I wanna go with this design here. Due to it'll be dragging and it'll hit right on the edge. So wait for it to come and compare. 
Okay, we're going to do some testing here. I think you're going to be surprised. That magnet came, the $43 one from eBay. That nut, that bolt goes in that far. There's no way they drilled into that magnet. And I look down in there, I can see a magnet down about this far down in. So I don't think this is uh, going to be very strong. We're going to find out. This was the 30 pound anchor that that 2 inch, 2 by 2 by 1 inch N52 grade pulled up. So before we go any farther, we're going to test uh, the magnets out on a 15 pound weight. The $43 bought 1100 pound lift magnet. One is, I literally got to get it. It's not doing a 25. No way. This is sad, guys and ladies. It's not even trying for the 15 pound. 30 pound weight that's rubberized, nothing. Absolutely nothing. Why do they call this 1,100 pounds is beyond me. Maybe, maybe if you lay it completely flat on something. Okay, that's what it is. If you were to lay it flat and picked it straight up, you're still not going to get 1,100 pounds, I'll tell you that. But it will pick up that, something like that, quite easily. You're not going to uh, pick anything like that up, like in my video we did with the big one. Let's do the big one. I'm not even messing around with a 15 to 25 pounder. Uh, if I didn't already show it, I'm going to add it in, retrieving this with this pile of stuff attached to it, which weighs about 15 pounds itself. Hundreds of sinkers and baits. Is that cool or what? That was attached to that anchor. This is what makes the N52 grade 2x2x1 two by two by inch so wicked with even having that contraption for a mount. You're going to pull that straight out easily. 30 pounds with that rubber on there, no problem. Getting it off is the fu fun part. It'll even go through the rubber on this 25 pound weight, no problem. So, you want to build an ultimate magnet, N52 grade solid magnet, and then build a housing around it whatever way you want. That's a magnet. So I hope this helped people. You got your N42 grade, like I said, very cheap. Picks up a lot of stuff, awesome. I would not recommend buying these. 43 bucks total waste of money total waste now you could take that apart and possibly put that one in it you might have something but to me this is the way to go you get this with a hole in the middle easy build you put an eyelet in there you're talking but you better have a very solid rope this rope here is a lot thicker that came with that 43 dollar one but i guarantee you this paracord out pulls it so there you go. I hope this helped somebody how to build a fishing magnet.